A rite of passage brings through this door on the same Saturday, 88-year-old <laughs> Willie Thurman for his eighth haircut of the year. Ew. And Q Collins for the first of his life. He's not happy right now. <laughs> A rite of passage in North Minneapolis. No matter if it's Barack Obama or some kid that just got out of jail, they all have to come through the barbershop. The barbershop is the black man's country club. Houston White's club spilling out into the streets. I want to envision what we can do on this corner. The corner of 44th and Humboldt. You gotta give back, it's everything. Where a barber is cutting his own path. Yeah, it's not about the building. It's about concerts and food and art and community. A place where the mayor and police chief and the governor feel welcomed. Where a young comic book writer and his bow tie designing friend can set up a pop-up store. So they can sell their stuff. And where 60 young black men gathered last month for a conversation with the CEO of Target, who Houston hopes will join him on his corner with a small format Target store. Could happen. Will happen. Why wouldn't he be confident after Houston's clothing line debuted nationwide last month in J.C. Penney stores? They sold out and they reached out trying to re-up. Not bad for a guy who took a wrong turn at a young age. Got arrested in September, I think, so it was the first semester um, of my ninth grade year. Houston was selling drugs just down the street from North High, his school. The handcuffs hurt. They didn't say, oh, this kid's 14, let's be light on him, you know? Going to juvenile detention and seeing my mom's reaction when she came to see me, and yeah, it's just not a place you want to be. 14 when Houston traded drugs for clippers and launched a business in his aunt's basement. 14, same age as Alfred Foster, one of Houston's part-time employees. Started working in fifth grade, uh, now I'm in eighth. Gotta keep it stocked. Three years with Houston for Khalil Jones, too. Yes, sir. Paid in both money okay, and mentoring. When you come here, you feel the love. Love and business and tying a bow tie. He taught me that too. I remember I walked in one day, I didn't speak. He said, he made me read there, it was like, say good morning. He said, you always wanna do that. I believe that social intelligence is one of the most important things in life. The CEOs have high social intelligence. Oh, yes sir. Just decorum, like making people feel good around you because you need to learn technique. So while Houston teaches neighborhood kids about barbering, yeah. he'll also offer them lessons in golf. Because golf is a game for power brokers, you know? It's a game for life. What do you love about that photo? It embodies kind of who I believe we are as a people, um, confident and prideful and beautiful. Houston has known setbacks. A home building venture lost to the Great Recession, and his wife Denise lost a year and a half ago to cancer. How was school? It was fine. Yet he continues to see a brighter future for the North Side with his corner as the catalyst. I refuse to accept anything that's not excellent. So the plans are drawn for a refurbished barber shop with retail space for his clothing and a patio cafe for sipping craft beer, wine, and spirits. Our country club. Okay, my brother. The country club at the corner of hope and high expectations. It's our place. Yeah. Boyd Hooper, Carol 11 News, North Minneapolis. How you doing, man? Good. Good. What an incredible human being. Houston White's work within his neighborhood has not gone unnoticed at City Hall. Last month, the Minneapolis Department of Civil Rights honored Houston as a 2020 history maker at home. Wow, what an incredible story.